Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Versatile. Welcome back to another Warface video. I was about to say Call of Duty, but um, yeah, I'm taking. A, I'm off my hiatus right now. Um, for a short time, for a brief time, limited time, like the store rotation. But um, as you know, I've awakened from the shadows to cover that Warface was launching a new game. So this is uh, a follow-up video of that of things that I want to come into the game. So number one would be an engine update. So um, I don't know if you guys are in this techie nerd stuff or anything, but look up Cry Engine 5.6 or 5.7. I think that is uh, it. But Cry Engine 5.6 uh, or 7 is one of the current, uh, most current versions of Cry Engine, and the game will look graphically better, as well as uh, be able to perform graphically better compared to other games. And that's just that's just one of the things that we're going to talk about. Um, but another thing I have is crossplay. They need to update crossplay. Uh, for now, you can only just play with other consoles. Uh, I hope they update it to where you be able to squad out with other console members as well as um, be able to put them in clans and they just invite them uh, through a friends list. And that would pretty much further connect the community than what it already kind of has been. Um, and number three um, will be guns. So as we all know, guns will eventually get outdated um, because of the system that is established in Warface. But I kind of want the outdated weapons, quote unquote, to be put in the shop forever and eventually just stay there exactly just stay there for either warface dollars or credits i mean warface dollars or crowns not credits although maybe a low option of credits like a low amount of credits similar to what we see in the shop uh right now as i'm making this video um and boxes for those two but I don't want them to lower the. I want them to. I want the part the uh, chances to stay the same. I don't want them to lower the chances. But um, that's another thing I hope will come like a like for a day one patch or anything. Um, this should come in. Um, so we have that down. We have CryEngine. We have weapons crossplay. Um, what's another thing that I find wrong with the game? Um, nothing really. I just hope updated map will come, maps will come as well. Um, uh, every map pretty much translated to the engine, but I already know they're gonna do that. But have I ran out of stuff already? I think I've, I think I have. But, um, those will obviously be really good things to the game. So, um, no, I haven't. So, next thing, release it on next. Current gen consoles. Current gen. PS5's been out for three years. Xbox Series been out for three years. Anyway, release these. Release the game for next gen consoles. Have that 120 FPS and or 4K support for the game. And that will be great. So, um... I think another thing I want to have is simplica simplification of servers. Um, so instead of saying Washington or San Jose, Amsterdam, etc., let's just simplify it to NA East, NA West, maybe NA Central. We also have Europe, Asia, those types of servers, Middle East. I think those will kind of not confuse people, but uh, that's just a personal preference right there uh, about servers so um have i run out of things already so i've pretty much adjusted the i pretty much talked about the economy game engine um yeah i think i pretty much have and the last thing i want to do uh oh yeah it's not the last thing but another thing uh prestige levels so prestige levels are available on pc um and you can pretty much go over level 90. That'll be great. I would love for them to do that um, on consoles. I know it's gonna come eventually, but I hope it comes with this re-release. Like, I hope it just comes with like a bare bones 
released under a different name type thing. But um, just these levels, I hope they come. And I hope the community can get involved as well. Um, my com custom created community emblems that can go through like a Warface selection program and then just keep being added onto the list. I think that'll give, um, keep this game a little bit fresh when it comes to customizing. Uh, but, you know, you never know uh, with allies. And also for uh, the reason, I told you guys the reason, but um, a certain group of people uh, that have, that are uh, not being affected by this will be put under a new develop development studio. I think it was Astrum Games or something. I think I have the article right here. Astrum Entertainment, that's the company. So, I really hope this isn't a change for the better. I really hope this is a change for the better and change for the better. And I hope it doesn't kill the game even more. Because although I had my ups and downs with this game, I genuinely enjoyed it. And it was this is this is the game that got me into shooters. Uh, I wouldn't even be playing Battlefield, or I probably would have not really tried shooters as gracefully as I have now. Uh, now that I play Warface. And although I spent nearly $750 on this game, close to a thousand, it, do it doesn't feel like I'm forced to play it, but I still come back and kind of enjoy the game every now and then when it's not dead. When the lobbies are um, found quickly, to say. But um, yeah, that's kind of um, my thing on it. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, yeah, I know this won't get a lot of views since I'm not really part of the Warface community anymore. But to the few, to those few of you that um, that still view this, y'all the real ones. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.